Hello and welcome to yet another video of how to be more intentional in your life, how to go about understanding the choices which you have, which lead to you making better decisions, which lead to better and more positive outcomes for you personally and for those around you as a result of that. And today we're going to talk about something relatively contentious. It is our desire, our will, if you like, to change the world. Now, as a sentiment, this is something which we frequently um, agree on, that we all need to do something to change the world. We all feel that we should be doing something to change the world. And we sort of, um, in, in company or in public, we profess it is something desirable for us to actually um, action. Yet when it comes to us personally, deep down, when we are on our own, we feel small and powerless incapable of making any kind of decisions that have any kind of impact. And this is the result of our understanding of the small stature we have in the world, the insignificance of our being, if you like, which gets pretty deep in many ways and becomes existential. And we tend to mentally and psychologically move away from it and think, well, you know, our job is to survive, pay the bills, you know, make the rent, um, you know, become good at our job, raise a family, whatever challenges we face. And saving the world, changing the world, is not one of them. Yet, the world as a whole is a construct. It is made up of the activities, dreams, hopes, actions, and creations of the collective that is us. Collectively, we make the world what it is. Which means that then collectively, we can also change it to a better model, perhaps, something which is less... Um, difficult to live in, perhaps, something which is more desirable for us to actually exist in. How do we actually go about it? Well, you know, collectively, it is incredibly difficult for us to get together on a global basis. You know, we can't even get together on a community basis many, many times and actually take some kind of action. And yet and yet, the world itself is not, although it is the creation of a collective action, it is not the creation of a planned collective action. It is an outcome, if you like, an emergent phenomenon of the collective actions of all of us, which are based upon our individual needs, our individual wants, our um, focus on surviving and making a living. This gives us essentially a small tool, if you like, which allows us to make better decisions where changing the world is concerned. Um, I'm not going to be prescriptive here because each of us has their own challenges, their own abilities, their own capabilities, their own focus and their own aims and desires and hopes and beliefs in many ways. However, what I would like you to do, what I would like you to take away from this is if you go about your day, those little moments which make up your everyday life and you examine it and you examine those everyday moments of your life, ask yourself, what is it you could change in a tiny, tiny, small, virtually effortless way that would contribute positively to the world about you? It could be something as simple, perhaps, as changing perhaps your handle in social media, something very simple, to create a more positive impact than what you have now. It could be you know, something very small in terms of what you do in your daily life, perhaps recycling, perhaps um, you know, not using um, your car in terms of pollution when you should, um, when you could perhaps walk, um, or it could be something like reducing your meat consumption or raising awareness about water consumption and water conservation. You know, you have to find your own path here. The basis of what I'm telling you, however, is that tiny, tiny things done consistently over time affect those around you. And those people affect those other people around them. And those people affect other people around them. And this ripple effect gets broader as time goes on and it gets deeper as more and more of us actually do it. So by being conscious of our own impact, by being conscious of the impact of our insignificance, if you like, and making tiny, tiny changes which are positive in that impact, we then collectively begin to have a greater impact we begin to change the world in tiny, small ways, in an inexorable but sustained way, however, that delivers the kind of world we want to live in.
And in that process, of course, we change ourselves. We begin to understand things in a broader perspective, perhaps. We begin to have a deeper understanding of our actions and the actions of others. And that leads to different cognitive mechanisms which help um, us assess things differently, which then leads us to becoming more intentional in our everyday life, which means then that we become more intentional in our life. I really hope this helps. Subscribe if you haven't subscri subscribed already, so you don't miss out on more videos. Share this if you like it, and have a great day.